Welcome to the startup live. So this is like take 357, kidding. But it is like a lot of takes today. Um, I'm going to be showing y'all um, basically, yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna be showing you guys um, this problem and it's a simple problem. It's an array problem and I'm going to be summing all the values of the array. Pretty simple. But let me give you a backstory as to why I'm doing this pretty simple problem that took me not so long to figure out because this is something we literally did during my boot camp. So I, as y'all know, I finished my boot camp last year. I've been working on projects, doing a whole bunch of stuff, but I've I've noticed where my weakness is and it's data structures and algorithms. And um, I already knew this uh, for like probably this month, I was just like, okay, my, my interviews haven't been going well and I know exactly why it is. Um, and I was, it was reconfirmed today because I had a, a peer programming interview thingy with, um, Outco and Outco is like this organization that basically is like a staffing agency for software engineers. And they're unique in that. I feel like and don't, but don't quote me on this. They focus on like placing um, graduates from coding boot camps or software engineers from coding boot camps and whatnot. And the the reward for them is that they get a percentage of your income if you get hired. So there's like an incentive to place you, unlike other uh, staffing agencies who don't even try to get to know you. They're just sending you all this like spammy um, positions that they know you're not gonna get, and they're not even really actively trying to place you in. Um, so, but this organization is a little bit different. They're actively trying to place you because there's an incentive behind it. I'm pretty sure with the other, um, staffing agencies, of course they get their cut too, but, um, this is just a little bit oriented, a little bit different. And, um, so because of that, that, that target audience is a little bit different and their business model is a little bit different. They do like this peer programming with you as part of like their intake um, process to kind of like gauge where you're at. And so I had, that's what I did today. And oh my God, yeah, it just confirmed everything that I knew. <laughs> I'm not strong with the, my data structures and my algorithms, that's just it. And we did this anagram and palindrome thing. Basically we were testing whether or not this string was both an anagram and a palindrome. Um, and so I have to come up with this uh, algorithm to basically test that, um, to come out with like a Boolean, boolean uh, true or false, uh, whether the string was an anagram or, or um, to, so it would return true or false basically. So, I mean, it's easy enough when I reflect on it. <laughs> and I think once I review it some more, I'm gonna be like, uh, dur, 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 Whitney, why didn't you get it? But that's just because, like I said, it's, I am not recognizing some of the patterns when it comes to these, like solving these problems. So the logic behind solving these problems. And she she broke it down real nice for me, you know? And um, one of the things I remember distinctly that she said was that you just have to start recognizing like certain patterns and that's going to kind of like inform you as to how to solve the problem. And I was like, well, of course that's how you do it because, but. The reason why I'm saying, of course, and I'm like having this uh, like this moment is because I remember quite distinctively telling somebody, oh, so I just have to start recognizing patterns. And they told me blank, ah, point blank, no, you, you just need to know it. It's not about recognizing patterns, okay? And so I was like, oh, I can't, rec like I thought that it was just about recognizing patterns and that's how I was gonna learn to solve it. And so now, her now like several months down the line for her to be telling me I was right in the first place and that this person who was trying to instruct me was wrong. It, maybe they, maybe the person didn't understand what I was saying when I said like, you know, recognizing patterns, but that was basically how I understood the concept of coming up with these solutions. I was like, I want to start recognizing these patterns. Uh, maybe there's, uh, I don't know. Anyways, so um, she confirmed that I just need to start recognizing these patterns um, so that I can, it would basically inform me as how to solve, how to basically create that algorithm that would help solve it. And um, yeah, so this is not the palin, this is not the anagram palindrome um, problem she presented me with, but I will go over that with you guys in the next video. This is just a simple, simple uh, problem where I'm going to sum up the values of elements within an array. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.
So are we doing? But I want to break it down because I feel like it's, like I said, recognizing patterns. And I think if I can recognize patterns in this small little problem, then I can also be able, I'll be able to apply the solution to this problem to a solution that may be related to finding um, the sum of like, if I have an array of objects, right? And uh, let's say I have a price list and, you know, I have customers who bought how many, you know, brought pro products and this, it comes out in the form of an array of objects. And I need to create a algorithm that sums up the total price uh, for that day or whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying? If y'all understand like the basic understanding of what a Boolean, Boolean, Boolean. Y'all know I say that word wrong. A Boolean, what a um, uh, array is, what an object is, uh, what a them other stuff is. And then those are the three. There's two more, but they're not coming to the tip of my integer. Um, the uh, was it the last one's like not a number. I don't know. Um, undefined. We'll go over data structures in the next video, but this one, um, we're just doing an array. But I, I basically hope that like understanding this will help me be more informed with like more strenuous problems, um, more complex problems. Anyways, let me get to this because I only got 10 minutes. Uh, so for this, how I solved it is that AR is basically the array. And so this function is taking an array and what we want to do first is we want to, you'll see where I said a var uh, sum equals zero. So I need to declare the um, variable sum and we know it's going to start at zero, right? And then we're going to do this um, for loop, which is going to go through the array AR and basically, um, you know, we start at index zero and is it equals zero. Um, and then we're going to go throughout the length of the um, array and we're going to increment for each index, right? And through that loop, every time it loops, what it's going to do is it's going to add the value of the array to the sum. And so that's what this means. The sum plus equal, that's just meaning it's adding the sum of whatever, it's adding the value of whatever is in the array to the sum. So ARN is going to, you know, with the N in the brackets is going to give us the value. Uh, and then with that, when it goes through this uh, for loop, what it's going to do, because we code is read from top to bottom, it's going to return the sum because the sum down here is going to be different from the sum that we started with once it's gone through the loop. And um, that gives us the answer. I know, guys. <laughs> I did that shit in explaining it to you. <laughs> I killed it with that. <laughs> she did that. Um, like I fully understood what I was saying. So yeah, this is going to be my thing. I'm going to just, and it's going to be much shorter than this, um, in the future, but this is going to be my thing. I'm going to have like one type style of problem that I'm going to answer. And then we're going to go over use cases and then move on from there. Uh, best way to know that you know something is to teach it. But, oh, I thought, and the reason why the, um, the use case of like, um, of like a shopping cart and like an array of objects came to mind is because to be honest, an object is, I mean, an array is an object. So like, it's, it's really not that, um, there's just, it just, I had an epiphany earlier when I, when I realized I was like, Hey, an array is an object. How cool is that? But an object is an object, but an array is an object. And so um, it just got my mind thinking. And so that's that's where we're at. Anyways, if you guys have anything else to add to this example or use cases where you feel like this is applicable, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. And um, of course, I always appreciate when you guys tweet and just comment and just give me some advice as to what I should do as a next problem. That would be really awesome. Um, and yeah. On to uh, my next video. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.